Good morning and welcome to Jen Jiggles. Today is March 1st, 2019. Hi, I'm Jen. How are you? If you're new, well, welcome and come on in. And if you're Kim, hi. <laughs> or Shannon, hi. Or Evelyn, hi. Or Steve, hi. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Um, I am doing this for the second time because I think I said it on Monday or Tuesday because Microsoft are a bunch of assholes and they keep updating their damn software and now everything's out of sync and nothing's working right and it's really pissing me off. I hate you, Microsoft. I love you and I hate you in equal measure. So how are you? Are you okay? Um, I have no weight loss to report. Yesterday was um, okay. Actually, I had some scrambled eggs and an orange during the day. And, oh, and toast. And then last night we ordered takeaway, but I didn't go hog wild. Yesterday, while I was sewing up what's in my lap right now, I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, I did do what I said I was going to do and get up. And what I did was I walked out into my hallway at the bottom of my stairs. And I did stair steps, 40 each leg. So on the first set, I started with my right leg and went up with my left. And then back down. And then I started with my left and did right, and that's what I did for my exercising. Um, I was surprised there wasn't any weight loss to report, to be honest with you, because that was quite a thing all day yesterday. Um, but yeah, meh, whatever. Anyway, there you go. Um, what I wanted to talk about, though, today was a little bit of a struggle yesterday afternoon for me, and I wanted to explain this in a way that most people can understand. Maybe not some. If you're a Mormon, you're never going to get this. But, unless you drink an awful lot of tea, um, I struggled yesterday after I ate my brunch. Because I've basically been eating at 11.30 and it's breakfasty food. Um, but, when you're younger, when I was young there was this bar called Henry's, I think it was Henry's in a town close to mine and they had Thursday night quarter quarter drafts so you could go and drink draft for a quarter. It was probably the shittiest beer ever but when you're 18 you don't really care do you. Anyway um and sometimes younger but you know don't look at this SEC or police in New York State. Anyway <laughs> um and the bar's closed anyways it's a quickie mart now. Anyway or 7-Eleven or something like that. Anyway I digress. Anyway you know how when you went and drank like that, and you drank a lot of beer, and then all of a sudden you had to pee really bad, but you knew if you peed, you were going to be breaking the seal, and by breaking the seal, I mean after that, you were going to have to pee like every 20 minutes or so. Well, that's how I kind of feel with my food. Like once I break that seal, once I have that first meal of the day, I just want to keep eating, and yesterday I had that. And I got through because I told myself, no, but I don't always get through that. And it's really difficult. And I don't know if anybody else has that, if that happens to you, but it happens to me and it happens frequently, not like every day frequently, but frequently it's a, it happens like twice a week to me. And it's always this mental fight in my head to say, best not, best not have anything else. Best make yourself busy with other things. And sometimes that's tiring. I mean, I'm already tired today because my husband snored most of the night and I haven't had any sleep. I've actually been up and dressed since 4.10 this morning, um, answering emails from lovely Kim. But, um, yeah, I have that. If you have that, let me know. And tell me what you do specifically, please, to get through that. Um... Like I said, I try to make myself busy, but it's always gnawing away in my mind and it drives me mad. And it's the biggest problem that I have is not stopping. Um, I guess that's everybody's problem, <laughs> but you know what I mean? I, ugh, ugh. Why is food so fucking important? And I don't mean the sustenance that you need to keep your body going every day. I mean, food in general, why has that been made such an important part of my life? That's something to explore. Why Food is Important to Me by Jen Bolton. OBE, not really. Anyway, yeah, so yesterday I did that. So 
If you have anything to say about that, please share. I'm very, very, very curious to find out what everybody does, how that affects you. Do you have the same problem or do you just eat candy all day and then you got chubby? Because, I mean, let's just let's just lay the cards out on the table. You're not watching this because you're skinny, right? You're just not. You're just not. So maybe we should all examine how we got the way we are. Whether it's a medical condition or we just overate and, you know, the reasons that we can't stop. Because for me, it's an addiction. I'm not upset. I'm not sad. I'm not, I don't know. Anyway, we'll have to look at that. Right, so let's get on the crafty stuff because I really got to get Blossom out because it's getting very late for her to be out. Or, yeah, in her crate. So anyways, yesterday I did what I said I was going to do, like I said, about the steps. Um, and I finished, I still have to weave in the ends in the back, but I finished my snowflake afghan yesterday. Well, this morning, I lie. I had to work on it this morning for a row. But yeah, so there she is in all her glory. She weighs a lot. She is so heavy. Oh my God, she's so heavy. And there's the near bottom. There we go. So I just have to weave in the ends on the back. There aren't a ton, but there's enough to be really aggravating. But yeah, check her out. Oh, she's so warm. She keeps me so warm. Oh, God, it's nice. <sighs> anyway, oh shit. <clears throat> anyway, yeah. Oh, I see a mistake. Oh, I see a mistake. We won't look. Anyway, I'm going to look at TV for a minute. Check out my afghan. <laughs> anyway, yes, this is my afghan. And it's nice. And I'm so glad I made it. And I really, really wanted it. And I'm so happy it's done. Um, so what are my plans for today? My plans for today are to get Blossom outside. Get some exercise. Do some running around. Um, as you can see, I moved my shit from yesterday's broadcast of this happy little podcast. Um, I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed with things right now as far as projects goes and what all of these squirrels I have running around in my mind. And I really want to cross stitch. <sighs> but I really have to finish Ian's sweater. And family has to come before my personal preferences of crafting. So I am going to spend today sewing in the ends on this little girl. And then I am going to finish Ian's sweater. Get that sewn together. That's not going to be too bad. I really needed it done by the end of the month. And I'm so positive that it will be done by the end of the month. That I'm not even fretting about it. Um, then I'm going to finish mine. Like I said. Got to finish mine. And then I really need to get to my Christmas knitting. Because I have so much fabric that I can use for everybody's everything. Or fabric. I mean yarn. That I, I've just got to use it up. I found a pattern yesterday. Um, that my mother-in-law, uh, copied for me from one of her books. So, which is plagiarism, but there you go. Or stealing or whatever they call it. Um, copyright infringement, but tough. Um, because I would just take the book out of her house anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, but anyways, yeah, I want to get that done. But like I said, I really, really want to cross-stitch. It's driving me mad. I really want to cross-stitch. I have so many projects that I really want to get done. Yeah. Uh, I think first on my list is the mirror image of the witch that Kim sent me in my box of treats. Um, yeah. So, um, I gotta do that first and get that framed. And then I will go from there. Um, Kim, you sent me something else in that box that I'm surprised did not get confiscated by customs here in the United Kingdom because people are not supposed to send garden type planting things through the post to different countries because apparently there's something naughty about that. I don't know, introducing new something or other. But I need you to email me and tell me what they are, please. Cause yeah, I'm going, I want to pot them and I want to put them in to start, but I don't know what they are. So I'm trying to think about where I'm going to put them in my garden. So if you could please just tell me what that illegal thing is that you 
would be. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. So, anyway. Yeah, that's it. Don't have anything else to say. Please get back to me if you are watching this about how you feel, what you think about the, God, this is warm. I want to go to sleep now. Um, how you feel about the whole breaking the seal thing. And yeah, because I am curious about how everybody deals with that. Why they think they do that, why they think those thoughts are in their head, and what we can all do about it. So, having said that, I'm going to pull my mouse over, get her lined up. I hope you're all okay. You're having a good day. The weather is better in America, I hope, because my poor friends in America are having a hell of a time, and my German friends. Lots of snow there. But I'm going to go and get Blossom out here and take her down to the garden. But um, I will talk to everybody on Monday. Hopefully, I'll have some really, really good news on Monday. And until then, stick to it. You can do it. Bye, everybody.